at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where tonight the Golden Raiders get their second straight crack at an undefeated team, the Ashwaubenon Jaguars. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, we got a dynamite team coming in here. North is going to have their hands full. Well, we talked about it back in the opening show. What are the games to watch this, this year? And we said it, Ashwaubenon's the team to watch. And here they are, it's finally here January 4th. 8-0, 6-0 in league play. They got a Division One kid in, uh, in uh, who am I thinking of? Jacob Cook here. He's going to Northern Iowa. Very tough team here, big and strong and tall. North is going to have their hands full. Now, Cook averages a little over 12 points a game, but they got another kid on the team that's averaging just under 20. Yeah, Jeremy Paprocki, he's, he's averaging that too. So they got a lot of guys and a lot of players. And I've been talking to a few people in Sheboygan a little bit about Ashwaubenon and uh, what kind of team they are. And they're a type of team that we already mentioned their size, but if you try to do some type of zone, 1-3-1 one, one, or a 2-1-2, two, two. they're going to hit the outside jumpers. they got they got shooters. They're big inside. They're big around the boards. I mean, there's just going to be a lot of difficulties for Sheboygan North. I have a couple things, though, that I think they can do to beat them, and I think that's to press. I think Sheboygan North needs to press and create turnovers. I think we saw last week in their holiday tournament, they played probably their worst half of the season against Oostburg. But in the second half, they turned up the notches a little bit, created lots of turnovers, easy baskets. That's what you're going to have to do to beat Ashwaubenon. And I would throw a little 1-3-1 one, at them. I wouldn't be scared of those wings. you got to hope they're, they're worried about playing at Sheboygan North, not that they're you know playing this, their seventh rank. You're playing Sheboygan North. This has been a tough place to play for years. You're 6-2. and two. This is a good team. So I'd throw some 1-3-1 one, one at them, throw some uh, you know man-to-man -man at them, and, of course, got to get tr turnovers. This is the longest I've been quiet in an opening interview in forever. I'm going through withdrawal, Chris. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about North High School. And, and you mentioned what they have to do. But their style of play is just so different from what you see around the state, that the pace at which they play at, that certainly has to be an advantage for North. Well, and it's exactly what they did in that second half against Oostburg. They fell behind by seven at halftime. And, oh, what's wrong with North? But, boy, they really can turn it up. And you know what? Sheboygan North, when they're hitting those threes and creating turnovers and getting easy baskets, they're real tough. And I thought Coach Tessitel uh, made some nice adjustments against Oostburg the other day. Got that nice victory. But, you know, you're right. Eschwabenen hasn't played a Sheboygan North team. They play them in the summer, in the summer leagues a little bit. But they don't see a team like this very often. They're going to get pressure up and down the floor. What North has to do is make sure just put pressure on and get a couple turnovers. Don't give any easy basket to Ashwaubenon, but make Ashwaubenon work up and down the floor. I know during the offseason we talk a little bit like who's going to play the number three, who's going to play the number two, and all that kind of business when you talk about North's offense. Well, this year they've thrown a little something new, and they call it the Tiger. And whenever you hear that call, one of the guards is going to push it to the basket. And we mentioned that in that last game. When they played East, I believe it was, created a lot of turnovers, not turnovers, but off fouls on the other team. Well, I thought they'd been doing that for a couple of years. Last year, Alex Jordan did some of that, too. And, you know, uh, they got players that did that. They did that against Sheboygan South in that opening game. They really got to the basket early, got some early foul trouble for South and created problems for them. I really like it when they do that. Now, the other time we saw them play, we said, let's get to the basket. And they banged it out and they hit threes which is another nice weapon to have. But you know what? If you do get to the basket, create those fouls, you're going to create those openings against this taller Ashwaubenon team. All right, with that, we're going to step out, and then when we come back, we've got a real nice interview with Coach Tom Desatel talking about his 500-plus wins so far. And then after that, we're going to come back, and we'll have the opening for tonight's ball game. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Mommy, will there still be penguins around when I grow up? I sure hope so. Do more than hope. Since the 1970s, global warming has caused ice in the Antarctic to melt and populations of Adelie penguins have been rapidly declining ever since. There's still time to make a difference before the Adelie penguin vanishes along with its habitat. 
Go to defenders.org slash global warming to learn more. Joining me is coach Tom Desatel, who just recently won his 500th game here at uh, North High School as a head basketball coach. Coach, congratulations. That's quite an accomplishment. Well, it was a great journey. Uh, it's been a lot of fun for uh, a lot of years, and I hope everybody's enjoyed it like I have. What does that 500 wins mean to you, coach? You know, what all goes into that? Um, I don't know. I, it, it means that if you sit down and start thinking about it, uh, you really feel you've been here for, for quite a while. And uh, uh, but that's about it. Uh, you know, uh, you don't look backward in sports. You always look forward. Now, you had a real quick start to moving up to the 600 level with that uh, Raiders shootout win over Oostburg. That was a nice win for you. Well, we, had, we played an undefeated team. Uh, we knew Plymouth would be tough as well. We were happy to beat Bradford. And uh, at halftime, I didn't know if uh, we would do so well in the Oostburg game because they were so well coached and they were so uh, well disciplined in that first half of that game. And we were fortunate to turn them over in the second half a little bit. Having coached... Uh I think it's the same way with most coaches, so I'm assuming you're going to be the same as you remember the losses, the tough losses. Those are the ones that kind of stick with you over the years. Uh, you've had some great wins. Let's talk about those wins that you've had. Which uh, two or three really stick out in your mind over the years? Well, I, I know uh, that the state championship uh, was uh, a big uh, win for us, and the journey uh, to the state championships in 84, 85, and 86. And uh, we don't want to talk about the heartbreak of 93 where we played for the state championship. That's and why lost. I said let's yeah. talk about the yeah, wins. But uh, the journey there was good, and we lost to an outstanding team. And we kind of, I told the kids to leave with your head high because both teams were so outstanding. Very similar to the girls' championship that, that Susie was involved with. I, uh, somebody had to play good on that on that last night. and. Uh, Lord knows, anybody knows Susie Runnis and her determination and her staff, uh, they're going to be tough in the future. Some people said in, in that championship run in 86 that the real championship game was in the semifinals when you played, I think it was Waukesha East. Well, Wauwatosa East Wauwatosa it was, East. and Tony Smith from Marquette was a, a top player in that game, and uh, the story went the only person that can hold Tony Smith under uh, 20 a game was... Kevin Conway, uncle of, of Alex on the team. He was an outstanding defensive player. Let's talk a little bit about retirement. You know, every once in a while, somebody will come up to me and say, boy, Tom's been there a long time. When do you think he's going to retire? Well, you've already retired from teaching. Uh, where's your coaching? Well, through the uh, Sheboygan Area School District, they allow coaches to stay on if uh, the board is satisfied with their performance and that. And I think I'll know when the time comes. I know I, I enjoy coming to practice every day. And um, if... I, <laughs> I've been blessed with good health, so we'll see how, how things uh, uh, go down the road, as we say, and, and uh, why back yourself into a corner. I was looking at the list of uh, coaches who have you know notable number of wins in the state, and uh, most of the coaches have coached at numerous schools, and I think there were only three on the list that were Division I coaches. You know, what does all that mean? Well, it means that, uh, I, as I said in the paper, uh, 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 an adventure uh, to Sheboygan, uh, from Milwaukee where I was a JV coach has become a life sentence and I couldn't have been happier. How did you acquire this job? Now I know that uh, Jerry Hoffensberger was a principal and he hired you. Did he contact you or did you hear about the opening well, and contact him? I was the only assistant coach to interview and I had a pretty outstanding record in Milwaukee at Madison High School which was a very large school. We were 123 and uh, or 119 and 23 something like that in my eight years there. Uh, so I had quite a reputation, and Coach Hank Raymonds, uh, the assistant for Marquette, came up, and Jerry Hoffensberger was a Marquette alumnus, and they met, and uh, he said, you better look at this coach down here. Uh, he's got some good things going. Of course, I had volunteer assistants like Bruce Weber, who's the Illinois coach right now. Uh, those were my student teachers, and uh, of course, I learned as much from them, even then, as I do from my assistant coaches right now. You know what, Tom? I think they made a good choice. Well, uh, I... I think uh, every once in a while, uh, parents uh, sometimes question things, and it's, like I said, it's a group effort. We've had some good assistance, some real supportive parents, and some supportive kids as well. Coach, you have a tough game tonight. Hopefully you'll get number 502 against Ashwabanon. I want to thank you again for coming over and talking with us, and uh, congratulations on that 500. Uh, thanks, Mike. It's a problem.
I wanted to do something to become more energy efficient. To protect the environment. To protect the future. So I turned to Energy Star for help. Energy Star is helping me be part of the solution. Everyone can join the fight against global warming. Go to energystar.gov to learn what you can do. Together. Together. Together, we can all make a difference. Well, you work for the feds, right? Can I find a slightly used hatchback at one of those government auctions? Something roomy but practical. With a sunroof? With a sunroof. You know. USA.gov is your official source for government info. From student loans to government auctions, USA.gov. It's government made easy. Back at North High School, they're going through the starting lineup for Ashwabanon. They'll be going with number three, Clayton Tomaszek, number 15, Anthony Ostrowski, number 21, Jacob Cook, number 23, Jeremy Peprocki. He's the uh, high scorer for the Jaguars. And then rounding out the uh, starting lineup is number 31, Mitchell Walkendonk. Uh, Walkendonk is a 6'5 senior, Paprocki a 6'2 senior, Cook a 6'8 senior, Ostrowski's a six foot senior, and rounding out the senior laden lineup is uh, Tomaszek, he goes six feet. For North, they'll be starting Nolan Free, a uh, 6'1 junior, number 15, Alex Conway, a 6'1 senior, 25, Tim Schwer, a 6'2 senior, TJ Kellner, there you see him coming into your camera, he's a 6'4 senior, and rounding out the starting five is number 51, Tom Eirich, a 6'4 senior. So. Nine out of the 10 starters are uh, seniors. Now, that, that's uh, Tom Phillips, the second man with the dark hair. That's uh, Mike Wittig. Mike uh, used to be the uh, head coach at Green Bay West, I believe it was. Preble. Chris. Preble. Yep. And uh, we remember seeing him yep. come to Sheboygan every once in a while and doing their games. Yep. He's a good guy. And Tom Desatel in his 31st year at North has 501 victories, looking for 502 tonight. It'll be a tough one. Good, good, good uh, amount of people in the stands. I know the girls are out of town tonight, but uh, there's a lot of people here to watch uh, Ashwaubenon and Sheboygan North, and I'm excited. If you couldn't couldn't tell in the opening, uh, <laughs> put a lid on them. Uh, yeah, I liked uh, I liked this matchup uh, right from the get go, and excited to see how Sheboygan North, who leads their division, and Ashwaubenon, who leads the opposite side's division, in a big uh, F. Well, whatever, Fox River Classic Conference. That's tilt. close enough. Turnaround jump shot is around and off by Pap Rocky. Eirich with the rebound. Tommy Eirich played an outstanding second half against Oostburg, maybe his best half of the season. Ashwabanon in the man to man defense. North trying to set up their uh, pattern. Cross quarter to Conway, three pointers, nothing but net for Alex Conway. He continues hot. Welcome to Sheboygan North, Ash Wabanon. And we get a travel, dragging the foot was Jacob Cook. Our officials tonight might be familiar to our Sheboygan fans, Scott Otten and Terry Verstrati. And uh, I'll tell you, I cannot remember doing a conference game with Sheboygan officials 
working the court. This is the first for us. They're good officials, they'll do a good job. I thought they only let Sheboygan guys umpire your baseball games, Chris. Nolan Free with a one-hander, a little bit of a force, couldn't get it to go. I like that drive penetration, though, Marty. That was just like we talked about in the opening. Get down and deep. Well, working down deep is Cook. Gets doubled up right away. And a steal by Schwer. Take it right at him, Timmy. I thought that was real good defense played by Anthony Ostrowski, number 15. You know what he did, Chris? He just turned his back, sprinted back into position, then turned around to pick up the driving Schwer, but he picks up the foul. Schwabadon is 8-0, ranked sixth in the state currently. Uh, they have had just a one-point victory at home against Green Bay Notre Dame, and Green Bay Notre Dame is kind of towards the uh, bottom of the of the league. Uh, they did beat uh, Bayport by seven, and in their own tournament, they beat D.C. Everest and former perennial power Seymour by 20. Well, Schwer misses a couple, but Eirich on a good tap out. North keeps the possession. Here's a good matchup. Cook on Kellner. Swear almost lost it, keeps the possession. Nolan Free had an outstanding holiday tournament. A lot of contact there. Well, I'll tell you, they play very tight man-to-man -man defense. North is gonna have their troubles finding an opening. Eirich on a dish off from Swear puts it up and in. Ostrowski had it, kick it over to Cook. And then the inside pass is taken away. Three Ashwaubert on turnovers, Marty. Gotta convert. Conway taken to the hole, tries to lay it up, can't Ball is saved. No, it's not. Ash Wabanon will take it back. You know what makes it really tough? And we find this out when we play against uh, Kevin Telsho. He's so long, you know, it's hard to get the sh get shots off. And, you know, and, and they're so tall and long that they don't have to make contact with you to block your shots. You don't have to be that close. And that's what North is going to run into a little bit here. On the court is Christian Parker, number 40. Dumped down into him. He lays it off the glass and in. Five to two north on top, rolling down to 5-10 left in the first quarter. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright. Kellner with a scoop and a hoop de doo for two. I think this is a good matchup for TJ. I know he's playing a bigger player, a 6'8 guy's guarding him, but you know what? If you're going to play at the next level, there's going to be guys like that all over the place. Dishoff got past the intended receiver, but Cook got it, and his shot is no good. Kellner with the strong rebound. Conway, oh, good defense played that time. Way to get back by Cook. And then Nolan Freeze pass off the mark. Goes out of bounds. Kevin Phillips in his second year as the coach at Ashwaubenon, finished 14 and nine last year. Have a great start going so far this year. Eight and 0, six and 0 in conference in their division. North leads the East with a five and two record. Four and two, pardon me. Six and two overall. Another turnover by Ashwaubenon. Conway left alone, shot rims out. Kellner on a fake, a step through and a land. Sweet move, sweet move. And a timeout, a 30 second timeout by Ash Wabanon. And uh, hopefully this keeps up, Chris, because I think we were onto something when we mentioned about the pace of play. Yeah. We're not used to that. That and I'm watching Ash Wabanon. They're walking around like they think they're like uh, God's gift to basketball right now. They're uh, strutting and striving and throwing the ball all over the place and it's like they think this should just be automatic but I'll tell you what Sheboygan North has come to play and I love the way they're attacking the glass and hit those shooting those threes they've got a lot of openings despite the the uh, tough D by Ashwaubenon. Had a chance to uh, talk to Tanner Doctory 
prior to the game. He's out tonight, Chris. He's got uh, some symptoms of mono, so they're holding him out for a week, and uh, hopefully he'll be out for just uh, this one game, and then he'll be back. But I know he's well, not too happy, but neither are we. Yeah, Tommy Olson had mono before. He's just getting over it. Now another one. I know these kids work so hard. It's so tough to keep, you know, with all the diseases and things around to stay healthy, and unfortunately the bug has hit uh, Sheboygan North basketball. Kick by Eric and uh, Ashwabanon keeps it. There's 4.02 remaining in the quarter. North on top, 9-2. To They've gotten a great start going against this uh, tough Ashwabanon team. Pop back jumper by Pep. Rocky is no good. Conway with the board. Keep it on. Oh, Kellner streaking down the right side, but the pass a little off the mark again by Nolan Free. That's his second turnover. But I like it. They're stretching it. They're forcing things for later. And, uh, you know, just I know how Coach Desitel thinks. We want to push, 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 and we're always going to stretch it. You know, it may be a turnover, but it's putting some in Ashwaba, and we better get our tails back. And another walk. Good step up by Tommy Eirich to force the turnover. Cook wasn't expecting that pressure. Fifth turnover by Ash Wabadon already. Great first four minutes. If you break down the college game in the four minute intervals, first four minutes dominated by Sheboygan North here at the high school level. Hit it. Nolan Free, bango! Second three-pointer of the quarter, 12 to two North on top. Rolling down to three and a half minutes left. That you can't call that. You can't call that. If you're gonna call that, Terry, you better call those bumps up on top. Falls on Alex Conway. Clayton Tomashek coming back in and taking a seat is uh, Anthony Ostrowski. North continuing to play man-to-man -man defense. Vince Workman the third in, number 33 is in the ball game. We saw him play a little football. Parker, move on the inside, nice shot. For Christian Parker, that's his second basket. Good dump off to Eirich, his shot is up and in. Nice pass by T.J. Kellner. Off the dry penetration, Marty. 14 to four, three minutes remaining in the first quarter. North on top. Workman working hard. Inside feed to Parker. Dump down to Cook. Eirich steps over on the double team but commits the foul. Nolan Free plays with a lot of these Ashwaubenon kids on his uh, AAU team and other things like that. So he's familiar with them as well. He's got the upper hand now for next summer. Remember that first quarter? Yeah, really. Kaprocki triggering the inbounds. Look for him on the shot. Good defense by North, too. Outside shot by Tomashek is good. He hits a three. 14 to seven. That's Wabanon really extending the defense, Chris. Yeah, North is way out deep, but you know, if they can get by and drive penetrate, they'll cre create openings later, because they are so out fly. You gotta call that. There's a blocking fall on Workman. His first. That's only the second foul on Ash Wabanon. Matt Clark coming in. Give Eirich a bit of a blow. 2.17 remaining in the first quarter. Good defense played by Ashwabanon to cover up the three point shooter, Alex Conway. You got that right. Parker was all over that. Ball knocked out of bounds. I'm going to give credit to uh, David Waite. He's an assistant coach for uh, Ash Wabanon. He helped us with the pronunciations prior to tonight's game. So if we mispronounce any of them, it's his fault.
Pull up 12 footer, no good by Kellner and Parker with the rebound. Well, North hasn't missed many shots, Chris. Tomashek. There's 60% from the floor North is so far. Cook got around the first defender, but not Kellner, and he blocked his shot. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with uh, the Jaguars. Or as they say on fax, the Jaguars. The Jaguars. That's how I pronounce it in my school. Pam Schantz doesn't always appreciate that, but. She just wants you to be a little more serious than once. <laughs> Good save by Tomashek. Pep Rocky's 12 footer is off. Kellner with another rebound. Long pass to Tommy, the left-hander Olsen. High off the glass, Ooh. Nolan free, kissing it off the glass, you gotta like that. Christian uh, Parker was up there. Unless you're from Ashwaubenon. In the ball game is Brian Hagenbauer. Hagenbach, and he has it stolen away by Nolan Free. He's fouled on the way to the hoop, but can't get it in. Uh, here's a case. North missed two free throws earlier in the quarter. They need to get some free throws in right here. It's 16 to 7 with under a minute remaining. Five, pardon me, 58.8 seconds remaining. A little disbelief. Yeah, they're not too happy with the way things are going so far. In the green and gold. T.J. Kellner, good rest right here with about a minute left. Another guy looks like he could use a blow as uh, Nolan Freeze, huffing and puffing on the line. And I actually think, Chris, that may have helped him on his free throws. Took some of that adrenaline out of the system. Tommy Olsen guarding Hagenbach. Look out, look out. Uh, one more second, because it was at 58, and how about another turnover? Christian Parker, not used to handling it out on the open court, threw it right out of bounds. And it's 18 to seven, North on top by 11. Well, their score matches their turnovers. Seven turnovers, wow. Free. Go right to him, Nolan. Who says he can't go left? Ball is loose, got it good down on the floor. Good job, Nolan Free. Boy, oh boy. Light contact that time on Tomashek, and he picks up the foul. We just announced the score up in Ashwaubenon with uh, Sheboygan North girls losing 11-7. Andy Pulls checking in. It's nice to see Andy back from his injury and things. Five seconds. Come on, Andy. You got to get that ball in a little quicker. That's not all his fault, though, either, Chris, because some of those guys breaking off the of screens weren't moving fast enough. TJ Kellner coming out. There's 28.4 seconds remaining. North up 11. Good decision. Give him a little bit of a break. That's right. Come on, Matt Clark, go after that pickle. Good pass out to Pap Rocky from three-point land. He nails it. Can't keep him down all day. He missed his first three, but he hit that one. Clock winding down. Finish strong. Ten Finish. seconds. Finish strong. Conway just inside the line. No good. Pulse rebound. Shot is off, no good, it wouldn't have counted anyway. But we're at the end of one quarter of play, North up 18 to 10. Why is it you two have so much trouble con I don't like the way you talks to me. All I said was that you had a big osteo fight. <laughs> Well, what about the secrets you kept from me? Oh, so I didn't tell you about my drug allergies. Big that deal. That could have been nasty. How's your shoulder coming, anyway? Fine. I worked up to three-pound dumbbells yesterday. 
Huh. Just three weeks after surgery, that's pretty good. Communication is the best medicine. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Global warming. Some say irreversible consequences are 30 years away. 30 years? That won't affect me. Back at North High School's Acuity Field, Allison, there you see Mr. and Mrs. Brendel. They graduated with their daughter, Pat, in 1968 here at North. Pat teaches over at uh, Jefferson, teaches third grade. Yeah, Darren Dawn behind there. Come on, Timmy. Schwer open, a little too open, I think, Chris. Ball is tapped out of Eirich's hand, and North will keep it. Knocking it out of bounds was uh, Mitch Wachtendonk. North now at 50% shooting, 7 of 14. They hit 2 of uh, 3 in the first half of 3 point, make it 2 of 4 now. Oh. Bad turnover. Schwer lost it underneath the basket. He'd have had a hard time getting that shot up, but uh, might have drawn a foul. Just the 4th turnover for... Uh, well, Tomashek made good penetration, but made a bad decision to pass off. He should have just taken the layup. 4 turnovers for North in the first so far. Nolan Free kicks it out to Schwer. Oh, good steal by Cook. Eirich trying to get it to uh, Kellner, and then the foul on Schwer as Paprocki lays it up and in. You know, they're trying to trap uh, Ashwabadon is on the offensive end for North. I think you need to take a few extra passes. You know, instead of dry penetrate, now you need ball movement. Look, take that one extra pass, find the open guy, and uh, you know, hit an outside shot there. Uh, that's two trips in a row where they had difficulty. You know, not a, not they needed to take an extra pass or two. I think what they do, Chris, is they do a good job of helping and recovering. And you're right, when they recover, now you got to make that extra pass to find someone that's open. Rolling down to seven minutes until halftime. It's 18 to 13, North. Tommy Olson gets it inside to Kellner, faking, and he's fouled on the shot. He'll be shooting two. Lockton Donk, number 31, I believe, is going to pick up the foul. He's arguing, but he kind of slapped down on him. He didn't yeah. stay up all the way, so yeah. that's where the uh, call was made there Absolutely by Scott Otten. Right. North was two for four on their free throws in the first quarter. Tell you what, uh, Eshwabadon's heating up down on this end over here. Yeah. It was 17-7 to 7 at one time, and uh, production's been a little less lately. Eirik on a steal. North has it back. Conway was open for a minute, but Pep Rocky's got an eye on him now. And it's tough to see all those guys. There's a lot of tall timber out in green. Oh, nice, nice back cut. Count. Keller on a great pass to Nolan Free for an easy two. Boy, that's just textbook. Tom Eirich, you can't get a second foul in the backcourt. Ticky tack. That's just not a good idea, Tom. We need you on the floor. Eirich picks up his second. He'll come out. Matt Clark coming in. Now it's up to Clark to... Uh, do the job. That was the uh, fourth team foul on North. Ashwabanon has five team fouls. Kellner all over Cook. Workman working on Olsen. Help was a little late by Matt Clark. They had the right idea, they just didn't get there in time. For uh, Clark, that's his first foul. Fifteen foul now on North. There's 6.18 remaining until halftime. North on top, 21 to 13. 
Ostrowski triggers the inbounds. And then Christian Parker commits the turnover. And that's at least his second. I remember he threw that one pass out of bounds. You are correct, sir. Nolan free. He gets it up, but can't get it in. Holy not quick enough to the ball. Workman has it on the break. And are they going to get the foul on North? A blocking foul is going to go on Alex Conway. Cook laid it up and in. That's his first points of the game. And uh, I don't know. Look like he jumped over Alex Conway. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sorry, Alex. <laughs> 21 to 16. Ashwabanon working their way back slowly but surely. Yeah, yeah they're in that 1 3 1 now themselves. They got Cook way on the top, the 6 8 guy. This is where that extra pass is going to have to work. Not so much dribbling, one extra pass. Well, I think if you can get a little penetration. You're not going to go in there, Matt. That was not a good play by Matt Clark. He's got to realize his limitations. I mean, you're not going to put it up against kids that are bigger and stronger than you. Make the extra pass like uh, Mr. Wright is saying. There you see Conway backing up into him. That actually was a good call. Nice replay, Scott. Dan Stockdale in the game. He's our 6'9" player. Kellner and Cook. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tomaszek comes up short. And then North keeps it. And there's a foul on Ostrowski. Giving Nolan Free the knee. That's going to be the sixth foul on Ashwabanon. The fans down below us were saying travel, travel. Free did fall down, but he never had the ball. Oh. Now he started dribble, dribble, dribbling. Yep, and that's legal. Score remains 21 to 16 north. Rolling down to 515 left in the first half. Well, you gotta be careful. That's what you want. Oh, left-hander for three. Tommy Olson. That a boy, Tio. That nice extra pass there. Find the open shooter. Inside to Parker. Almost looked like he shifted his uh, pivot foot. Jump hook is no good. Kellner with another rebound. I like that Christian Parker. Olson streaking down the floor. Uh, Olson stepped out of bounds. Tomashek said, give me the ball. And Ole says, I'll give it to you when I'm good and ready. And it's not now. <laughs> and he's, Tomashek goes, come on, he's supposed to give me the ball. Move your feet, Kellner. Double up, not good. Workman, dump down inside to Parker. Ball is knocked away. And Workman pulls it away from Stockdale and no. puts it up and in. Parker. Parker, Parker did that. Just strength, pure strength. There's that, now swing it. Ashwaban on back to a man-to-man -man defense. Yep. Ole? Why not? Looked good, but not. Cook comes away with the rebound. Long lead feed to Workman who chases it down. 24 to 18, north on top. Tomashek inside to Parker. He lost the handle, but gathered it back up and put it in. Christian Parker has six points. North got themselves a little too high that time. A couple times now, and Parker's getting easy opportunities. Good timeout, Coach Desitel. Timeout North with 3.42 remaining until halftime. North on top, 24 to 20. Yeah, another 30-second timeout here. And uh, good, good timeout because of the fact that I think that, I think North's just getting a little too high, which is e creating easy opportunities underneath for uh, Parker. He's in there just uh, making a lot of hay and the way he is athletic is Zism, he can just put the ball in there. You got a little correction to make for our fans. 
Christian Parker actually has eight points. Uh, accidentally gave Vince Workman uh, a basket in there, and he does not have one. So uh, Parker having a great first half. Chris coming off the bench and uh, scoring eight points. I like him. He's whew, even as misses were uh, good shots, of which he missed one. <laughs> <laughs> really, Parker's only a junior. North with a four-point lead and the ball. Olsen left open. Shot is way short. Rebound by Kellner. He puts it up and in. Falling from the sky was that rebound. He put it up and in. North looking at a 1-3-1 now. Workman inside. Shot up. No good. Kellner threw it back in, but uh, Pap Rocky was the receiver, and he put it up and in. you got to be careful on those saves. Tough break for North. Looked like they had him a little bit confused on the 1-3-1, Chris. Yep. But Ashwabanon comes away with a basket. 26-22, we're under three minutes. Kellner, oh, threw one up there again, but couldn't get the spin off the glass to go in. The ball... Good hands by Free, knocks it out of bounds. Dan Stockdale replaces Matt Clark. Stockdale coming in for North. Both teams with six fouls, bonus for each. Eirik on the bench with two fouls. That's why he's not in there. North now in a 1-3-1. Stockdale. T.O. has got to run the baseline. Pep Rocky from outside the line, no good. And good block out by Stockdale. Kept Parker off the board and gathered in the rebound. Nice pass. Schwer, pump fake. Shot off, no good. Stockdale had the ball knocked out of his hands and out of bounds by Tomaszek. Well, you know, North's got fairly good height. I mean, you know, they're not a big team, but uh, they get it down in the land of the Giants. It's awfully tough to get a shot off. Yeah, and Ashwabana is strong. They are a strong, strong team. Kellner left open, can't get the three to go. Workman on the push. Cook. Look at that. See that extra pass, Marty? Tomashek wide open, no good. Oh, and Cook on a strong rebound, and a foul underneath is going to go on north. Good decision by Ashwabana to go to the left there. Wide open shot, just missed. Ball Free. goes on Nolan Free is first. Cook will be at the line. That was the seventh team fall, so Ashwabanon will be in the one and one the rest of the half. So far in the ball game, Chris Ashwabanon three for three at the line. North on the flip side, three out of six. Twenty six twenty four Ashwabanon continues to crawl back. So we mentioned before Jacob Cook of Ashwabanon, number twenty one. He'll be going to Northern Iowa for basketball. Ball is blocked by Parker. Pep Rocky oh, into sweet. Parker and he puts it up and in and we're tied. Christian oh. Parker with ten points. Ball is blocked out of bounds by Parker. Don't change what you're doing, North. Keep attacking the glass. Get to the basket. Create those shots for the three-pointers there. We're all tied up at 26 with 138 remaining until halftime. Kellner's going to have a hard time getting a shot off there. Nice. Holy! Above the crowd, can't get it in. It goes off of Parker, and North will keep it. I like the effort by uh, North. Keep going to the basket. Nolan Free's done it. Timmy Schwer's done it. T.O. just did it there. Those are the things. You may draw a foul, or it may go. I don't oh, think so. Cook. Right in your face. It's going to be tough getting those shots inside, but I agree with you, Chris. Keep pushing it at him. See if you can draw those fouls. Well, Cook just stood there. He got a good shot at Jacob Cook. He just stood there and waited for the shot and then hammered it down.
North having a hard time getting those inbound passes in. Got to make that second pass a little quicker. Good point, Marty. Workman stole it away, almost lost it. Stockdale on a foul. <laughs> Good takedown, though, Dan. I like it. They want to steal the ball, make them pay. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Make them pay. Oh. oh, sorry, I didn't mean to push you like that. <laughs> Vince Workman uh, fell over there like a weeble. Yeah, he was a little off balance. <laughs> and uh, Stockdale made it look easy. For those of you under 30 that don't know what a weeble is, well, go, to, go to an old store. Because <laughs> they Google wobble. It. Google it. <laughs> And a good shot of Vince Workman the third. Dad Pancake. played a little football. Yeah, Pancake a free throw goes in though. It's right below us here. Wearing his Ohio State Buckeye stuff. He, I know. Just, he just wants to get on camera when they show us. <laughs> shot is no good. And Nolan Free comes away with the rebound. Hesh Wabanon on top for the first time. 27-26 and they've worked their way back. That's called drawing the foul. And that's a seven team foul. Keller will be at the line shooting the bonus. TJ so far has got seven points. He's one for two from the line. And somewhat amazingly, Chris, he's only attempted one three. To my knowledge, it was a one at the top of the circle. Yep, that's what he's got. Quarter. North was two of three from the three point line in the first quarter. Here in the second, they're, I believe, 0 for, f well, no, they're 1 for 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 for 6. They got to do better than that. Kellner with a pair. North back on top. We're under a minute left. 55 seconds. North 28, Ashwaban on 27. Cal, oh, good. Get it early. Lays it up and in, nice pass that time by Nolan Free. Almost threw a little too far, but Olsen, good reach. 30-27, Parker on the perimeter. Need a stop here, boys. Bach had it, kicked it out to Cook. This is just fine. Let him go for one shot here. Pulls on Workman. Just no uh, second foul here on Nolan Free. 15 seconds remaining in the half. Oh, they had a, Ole had a step out sooner than that. He didn't, he didn't commit enough to uh, stopping the drive and that allowed uh, Workman to take it all the way to the hoop. Foul goes on Andy Pulls. Vince Workman will be uh, shooting the one and one. He had a one for two trip his last time at the line. There's 9.4 seconds remaining. I would have, uh, I, oh boy. Let them out there if they're gonna stand out there. So that's exactly what happened, a drive penetration and a foul. Oh boy. He had a one for two trip, that three boy. has it. Yes. It down. And he pulls. No foul. In. Olsen, no good. I'll, and that's the half. How don't you call a foul there, Terry? That's wrong. That's just wrong. That's absolutely terrible. He hit him in the head. Well, here you'll see it. Boom. Right in the head. Everybody thought he called it. <laughs> good replay, Scott. We're at halftime. North on top. 30-28. to 28. get in on a government auction you know like for a car well, what about renewing my driver's license
Don't bring your government questions to just anyone. Go to firstgov.gov, the official source of federal, state, and local government information. And don't everybody chime in at once. I joined the National Guard and never thought I'd be saving lives. It's more than money for college. It's built my character and given me a sense of accomplishment. Now I'm on a career path and I'm the leader of my team. I put on the uniform and I have a whole new outlook on life. Country, community, family. That's what matters most to me. If that matters to you, go to 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM. How far would you go? to protect the planet. I want you to build an ark. Here we go! Okay, that's good. Oh, okay. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Maybe there's another way. People! The flood is imminent! Is it too much to ask for a little precipitation? Go to fightglobalwarming.com to find out what you and your community can do to reduce global warming pollution. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, where we're at halftime, and North leads at 30 to 28. Let's go through some of the scoring. Leading all scores in the first half was Christian Parker for uh, Ash Wabanon. He had 10 points. Following him was Jeremy Paprocki with eight. Chipping in with five was Jacob Cook. And then rounding out the first half scoring was Vince Workman with a couple. Uh, also, uh, Clayton Tomashek had a three-pointer in the first quarter. For North, they were led by Nolan Free and TJ Kellner. They each had nine. Chipping in with five was Tommy Olson. Had those all in the second quarter. Tom Eirich had four, and Alex Conway hit a three-pointer in the first quarter. And that's where we stand right now. I'll tell you that uh, Christian Parker played a heck of a first half, Chris. He came off the bench for... Uh, Mitch Wachtendonk, and uh, he never got out of the game after that. Wachtendonk is starting the second half, number 31. But uh, Parker was probably the star of the half so far. 
Well, North shot just four of 16 in the second quarter. That's just not going to get it done, including one of five from three. I was wrong about the one of six. Um, Got to do a much better job shooting. Got to get that three-point game going a little bit. All right, Kellner took a chance on defense, didn't get it. Cook missed the first shot, but got the second, got the rebound and put the second shot up and in and was fouled. At 628 mark of the second quarter when Tommy Eirik got that second foul, it was 21 to 13. And uh, since that time, uh, they cut the deficit down to two. And uh, Tommy's back in there now and, uh, oh boy, there's a break. Went off of uh, Eirik's hands, but uh, Good thing for North, it went off of Pap Rocky's hands, and uh, that foul was on Alex Conway, Chris, and that's his third. Wow. So that's not a good thing. 7.38 remaining in the third quarter. Well, Tio had a nice second quarter there. Maybe uh, he might, you might see him early on here. I'd like to see Andy Pulls get a little uh, confidence back with him, too. Kellner's shot in the lane is no good, but then he's called for the offensive foul. I believe it was uh, Wachtendonk, number 31, who drew the charge. But uh, long and short of it is uh, T.J. Kellner picks up his first foul. We're all tied up at 30. North with that outstanding start. If I recall, they were up 17 to seven and nine to two and. Good hands by Free, but he wasn't able to save it. Ashwabanon will keep it. The Jaguars took the lead late in the first half at 27-26 on a Workman free throw, but then North was able to get it right back on a pair of free throws by uh, T.J. Kellner. Cook driving to the hoop, kisses it off the glass and in. I was wondering why I was looking to dish off. My gosh, you're 6'8". Take that right to the basket. Schwabenon has the lead again. 32-30. Nolan Free pulls up and nails the three-pointer. Did a little shake and bake on Ostrowski and he stepped back and then Nolan put it in. Good hands. Again by Free, knocked it out of his hands twice and it goes off of Cook's leg and out of bounds and North has it back. I'll tell you, he's just lightning quick with those paws. North back on top, by the way, 33-32. Ostrowski playing tough defense. Kellner open from three-point land, can't get it in. Schwer knocked it out of the hands of Walkton Donk, but it went off of uh, Tim, so uh, Ash Wabanon will get it back. 6.07 remaining in the third quarter. North on top by one. Cook handling the ball pretty well for a big guy, and he elbows on a swing through. Conway, and Travel. there's a walk. There's a case where the North pressure caused uh, Ash Wabanon to play out of control. Right, and out of what they're typically doing. Good point there, Marty. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> That's why we're good partners. We compliment each other on the air and rip each other off. <laughs> well, this is a change here. Walking so Dock on, uh, no, no, no. on, walk and dock on uh, Kellner there. Cook with a block, but Schwer got it back, and then Cook commits the foul. So, yeah, Cook is not real solid with the basketball. I thought he handled the ball pretty good the last time down. Well, I mean, it's, he's got five turnovers. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> but I'm just saying that, uh, you know, a little more confident. You'd think he'd be a little more confident with his size and things, and uh, sometimes he looks a uh, little... Lost out there. I'll tell you, North is very slow sometimes getting his ball in bounds. They've had trouble all night. Kick Make out it. to Conway. Shot a little quick on the release and not very accurate. It goes off to iron. North still on top by one. 
Ostrowski almost lost it. One more swing pass by uh, Alex would have been better there. Paprocki with a 12-footer. Nothing but the bottom of the net. He has 10 points. He's averaging 19-8 a game, and they've uh, kept him down, I thought, a lot tonight. But uh, starting to get him now. Schwabenon seems to know the play is pretty well for North Chris. They defense uh, those double screens quite well. Oh. I just think you have to have quicker ball movement or dry penetration. Tomashek uh, read that uh, cross quarter and stole it. Another turnover by Free. I know you want to take some token shots inside. Oh, nice drive by Tomashek. He kisses it off the glass and in. Read the pressure of uh, Eirik, but uh, just laid it up high off the glass and it bounced in. I know you want to take some token looks inside, but you got to do a lot of movement on the perimeter just because of the, sh the size. Conway! Wow. Ties it up at 36. 4-10 remaining in the third quarter. Big three. Christian Parker just knocked Eirik to the floor. And he gets the pass back and puts it up and in. You wonder how he got so open. Oh, he swung his arm out, hit him right in the head. Oh, cross quarter read by Paprocki and a nice feed to Ostrowski with a layup. That was pretty. Time out north. It's 40 to 36, Ashwabanon on top. We're not sure if it's a 30 or if it's a full. It's gonna be a full timeout, so we can take a short break. We'll be right back. 3.39 remaining in the third quarter. Ashwabanon up, 40 to 36. Moving is so much of who we are. It's easy to take it for granted. Multiple sclerosis stops people from moving. We exist to make sure it doesn't. Join the movement, the National Multiple Sclerosis Society at nationalmssociety.org. Hey, so Keith Conway played here at North High School. His son, of course, is Alex. Alex having a nice year, 11.7 points per game. 11.7 points per game. Nolan Free comes in at 12. Timmy Schwer and Tommy Eirich at 10 apiece, but uh, goose egg for uh, Timmy Schwer and just four for Tom Eirich. Those are back in the first quarter. Those guys gotta get trucking too. Everybody's gotta get back to work here. Scott Miloff in the truck is our director tonight. Eric Wiesman running this camera, the up camera, and Brian Andrews on the floor. I'm Mike Martin, my partner is Chris Wright, and we uh, enjoy bringing high school basketball to you guys. Well, North down, their biggest deficit of the game. Looks like a 2-2-1 two, two, or a 1-3-1, one, a 1-3-1 one, one with Cook out there. Good look by Eirich, but uh, Nolan Free couldn't get the three-pointer to go, and Ash Wabanon has it. Nolan struggling tonight, just three of nine, three of 10 from the floor. It looked like it went off of Pap Rocky's hands, and that's what Nolan Free is pleading for, but uh, the Jaguars will keep it. Vince Workman in the ball game. He has the ball, being guarded by Schwer. And Cook got it back. North pressuring. And again, an offensive foul. Don't tell me you're going to call it on Eirik. Oh, man. That's not good. That's the second push away, and he's got away with both of them. That's the third foul on uh, Tom. Jeez. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, another nice replay. Pap Rocky right down the middle. Shot is no good, but he is fouled. I think sometime before the night is over, Chris, they're gonna get Parker. He's not gonna be sneaky all night. Matt Clark on the fall. He's not gonna be sneaky and get away with it all night. 
Tommy Irick can't come back in the game here. Oh, yeah, I can. Tom sometime ran off. Yeah, sometime did, right, because Clark got that foul there. there. You see Ron and Rich Hummich. Ron on the left. There's a brain trust right there. Really. Those guys have seen a lot of basketball here at North and football games and baseball games. Ball on Workman. And the Schwabenon <laughs> fans all excited here. That's their, only their second foul here. No yelling down there, Dan. Dave. <laughs> Dave Witt yelling from the booth. Ball goes on Workman, his second. Good call by the officials, by the way. <laughs> Feet inside to Kellner. Oh boy. And a foul on Parker, but it's going to be on a pass, so there will be no free throws. Now that one was too obvious, Chris. We can't call that a sneaky foul. No. It's 42 36, North down six now. Kellner from way outside the line. Cold blooded, nothing but net. North with three threes in the quarter. That's it. And there's a carry. Good call. And uh, Workman knew it. Tell you, he can handle the rock, though. He certainly can. I was very impressed with his ball handling in that first half. He looks like a running back. Yep. Kellner got the bad pass back. Conway from way outside the line. Got it. Oh, baby. You got to like that. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but the bottom of the net after three bounces on it. On the rim. Cook. Two big threes by Kellner and Conway to get them back to even. Inside feed to Cook. Working on Kellner. Spin move right over the basket, but Irick can't control it. It goes off of his hands. Ashwabanon will keep it. We're all tied. North, four three-point baskets in the quarter. That's all they have. No two-pointers. And guess what? A sneaky foul call <laughs> on number 40. <laughs> we caught him that time. Good job, Terry. I'll bet they're going to get him for another sneaky fall. It's so early in the second half. And Coach is saying, I mean, we don't call sneaky falls on our guys. Hey, we let him get away with three of them. For uh, Parker, that was only his second fall. But he does take some, uh, he grabs some bench, as Ken Hawk Harrelson would say. Yep. Good cut by Kellner. Shot is no good. He's fouled. And I believe that foul is going to go on Mike Montgomery, number 34. We'll have to see. It's on Montgomery. That's the uh, fifth, sixth team foul on Ashwabanon. Kellner will be shooting a pair. Fifth team fall, Chris. Five team falls on Ashwabanon, not six, five. 139 remaining in the third quarter. North up one now, looking to go up by two. Off the back of the rim and off. Over and back. Not quite. Workman. Watch it, Tom. Working on Eirich, no good. Tap up, tap up. Kellner! With a rebound. How many does he have, Chris? Not as many as you'd think. More than normal. Six. Six he's got. Conway one. for just a second. Can't get it to go. Irick with the rebound. Inside feed to Conway. Left hand layup, no good. Sent him to the Mike Martin School of left hand layups. No, oh, we, we could have used one of those twos that time. Yeah, yeah, that would have been sweet. Kellner taking a chance, couldn't get it again, and Cook slides in underneath for an easy two. It's 44-43, Ashwabanon. Under a minute left in the third quarter, rolling down to 40 seconds. 
Good defense played by Workman. 35 seconds remaining in the quarter. Schwer, nice feed inside to Eirik. Uh, Kisses it off the glass and in. He has six points on the night. North up one. 20 seconds remaining in the quarter. Tim has no baskets, but uh, that was a sweet pass. That yeah, was a dandy. Could have taken himself, but gave Eirik that one. Cook. Peprocki. Gliding to the basket. Oh, and he put it in. Hurry. Oh, man. Watch it here. Two seconds. Long shot. Off the glass. No good. And we're at the end of three quarters of play where Ashwabanon now leads it. 46-45. We go to any extreme to protect our children here. And here. And here. Well, there's a great way to protect our kids here against diseases like cancer, heart disease, and obesity. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, vegetarian foods. Now you can protect your kids from the inside out. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. What makes something amazing? Is it doing what people once believed impossible? Or is amazing something you become? We believe in doing the amazing, in dominating air, space, and cyberspace, inventing technologies, in doing the unimaginable. But our most amazing accomplishment isn't what we've done, it's who we've become. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, we're getting ready to start fourth quarter action. Leading scores in the ball game, uh, Jeremy Paprocki has 14, Jacob Cook 11, uh, Christian Parker 12 for Ashwabanon. For the Northsiders, Nolan Free has 12, TJ Kellner has 13, and Alex Conway has nine. North down one. Great game. Conway under pressure, can't get the shot in. Kellner with another rebound, fake, fake. Shot is blocked by Cook. Good job at playing defense underneath there by uh, Cook. Held his ground. Pep Rocky pops back. Shot is off, no good. Oh, well, he had a good look at it, but couldn't get it in. Yeah, that, I was going to just say, don't leave him open. He'll make that one. Good thing I didn't because he missed. Oh, good hands that time by Ostrowski, and he tries to knock it off a of off of Irik, but the North comes away with it. Oh, it looked like he got fouled, but no call inside. Ash Robinon playing very good defense, Chris. Ostrowski pump fake and drags the feet. Number 16 on the turnover. Ooh, coach can't be happy about that. Docket for them. Although I think their, their rate of turnovers is uh, lessened considerably from that uh, first quarter, I think it was, where they right. were really Eight. bad. Eight, so they've only... Uh, Doubled it in the last uh, two plus quarters here. Kellner, good feed into Eirik. He's fouled and he makes it. Nice pass by TJ Kellner. Picking up the foul was uh, Montgomery. That's his second. I was just going to say, how long are you going to let uh, Christian Parker on the bench? Uh, no longer. Eric has eight points in the ball game, looking to finish off the three-point play. North was six for 10, they're now seven for 11 in the ball game on their free throw attempts. North with just four team fouls. Tomashek, no good. Cook, somehow was wide open underneath the basket. Got the rebound, put it up and in. Because he shoved Kellner out of the way. I, well, you know, that's the only explanation I can come up with. I saw I it. See it. Okay, you saw it. Yep.
I'll tell you, those Ashwaubenon coaches, they want it to go their way all the time. Of course, that's kind of like North, too. We always want the calls. Good use of the body that time by Kellner to prevent uh, Cook from uh, getting to the ball. Schwer inside to Eirich. Blocked by Cook. Tom, uh, Ostrowski right around free. His shot is no good. And North comes away with the rebound. Bonus time. Bonus time. Foul is committed by uh, Clayton Tomaszek. That'll be his second. First foul here in the second half. Let's knock home some free throws, boys. North with a nice break there. Got the block, and Ash Wabron had a break out there, but a missed layup and a miss kind of put back there. Now, Tim Schwer had a couple of missed free throws way back early in the first quarter. He's got a chance to get himself in the books officially on the scoring side. That a boy. He puts it in. That makes the score north 49, Ashwaubenon on 48. 551 remaining in the ball game. Now you had mentioned earlier, Chris, that they've played some close games, Ashwaubenon, so they're uh, used to the pressure of a close game. It's not like they've all been blowouts. Yeah, they have two of their eight, uh, Notre Dame and uh, Bayport. Notre Dame victory by one was at home, however. It's a little different playing in the, we'll call it the Super Desil Dome. Oh, yes! Wow, he delivered a blow with that off arm right to Kellner's chin. And TJ bounces right back up, and that's only Cook's second foul. Oh, man. That was not a sneaky foul. There's another one. Ostrowski. Kick out to Conway. Rims off. No good. Cook with the rebound. North up two. 50 to 48. Christian Parker. Let's talk the obvious here, Marty. I like North being ahead. Oh. Be quiet, Chris. Oh. <laughs> Pep Rocky with a three. And it's 51-50, Ashwaubenon up. It's been a back and forth game since uh, late in the first half when uh, Schwerer can't get it in. Ashwaubenon all over the boards. Parker and Cook. And a travel, yes, he did. Good call. Told you, he's just uncomfortable handling the rock. It was before you passed it, son. A lot of talking to the officials. Just play the game. I mean, they're not going to change their mind all of a sudden. You traveled. Come on, guys, let's go! God, you're all standing around. And there's your five. Ah, it's terrible. You guys got to be awake. Everybody's walking around with their head down, getting in position. Watch the official. There's no excuse for that. Bad turnover. They're down one, they had the ball, and now they got. Uh, yeah. they gave it up on a turnover. Yeah, and Ash Wabadon's the one that should have had their heads down and talking. He should have gone right to them and attacked. They've That's had trouble all night getting the ball in bounds. Don't uh, wait to get ready. Nolan free on Pep Rocky, tries to tap it away, can't. Parker had it stolen. Tim Schwer off the glass and in. Nice move by Tim. Good job, Timmy. Tacked the basket there. Got his body between uh, the defender and the ball and was able to get it up and over Christian Parker for two. And it's 52 51 north. Ball knocked away. Conway lays it up. No good. Schwer follows it up and in. Four green shirts walking down the floor. And a timeout by Ash Robin on north up three. 54-51 with 4.09 remaining. You're right, Chris. And uh, I believe we're going to have a full timeout, so we will be able to take a break. Warming is a problem. Problem. It's a problem. I wanted to do something to become more energy efficient. To protect the environment. To protect the future. So I turned to Energy Star for help. Energy Star is helping me be part of the solution. Everyone can join the fight against global warming. Go to energystar.gov to learn what you can do. 
Together. Together? Together, we can all make a difference. We'd have done this. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about uh, Alex Conway's layup attempt. It was on the left side, and he's, you know, eh, they're high school. I understand they're a little trouble using their left hand, so he tried to scoop it up with his right and overlaid it, and uh, Tim Schwer hustling down, followed it up and in with the layup. I was just saying, there's four green shirts on this side of the half court, meaning their uh, offensive side. None of them decide to run down there. Yeah. So we're just going to give up the basket, and uh, nobody's going to have to inbound. And Ostrowski, Workman, Paprocki, Parker, and Cook in the ball game for Norris, Schwer, Nolan Free, Alex Conway, Eirich, and Kellner. Rolling down, four minutes remaining in the ball game. North with a three-point lead. Still continuing to play a man-to-man -man defense, or are they? Nobody has workmen. Short. That was an interesting defensive strategy. Don't guard workmen. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Timmy Schwer saving the best for the fourth quarter. Two for two, two for three on the basket, three rebounds. Oh man. Oh, Cook getting way out on Kellner. And he's got a little, little bit of help on the defensive end from Ostrowski preventing the drive. Parker all over Eirich. Norris slowing it down. I don't know if I like this, Chris. They had a couple of open looks, but didn't take them. 315 remaining, rolling down to right now 315. 54-51 North on top. Ostrowski on free. Schwer now has it. Baby! No! Oh. Can't get it in. I like that shot, though. You got to take it. I love that shot. Absolutely. That would have just been a big dagger. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Six-point lead. Three minutes left. Fouls to give. Oh, he's wide open. Oh. Good help defense by Eirich and then Nolan Free. This is where I like North. They make their free throws. They're clutching uh, at the line. They're in the bonus, getting closer to the double bonus. Don't be afraid to call timeout. Conway has it. 2.25 remaining in the ball game. North still up three. Schwer takes it out, clears it out of the corner. Almost a carry. And a foul. That's the ninth foul on Ash Wabanon, so Schwerer will need to make the first to get the second. For Workman, that's his third. Schwerer's uh, been lighting it up here in the fourth quarter, Chris. He has six points, a chance to bump it up to eight. He was scoreless through the first three quarters of play. Barry's that first one. North up four, 216 remaining. They were down 42 to 36, Marty. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if I got that written down somewhere. Oh! Can't get the second, but North is up four. It's a two possession ball game, but there's still 210 remaining, so plenty of playing time left. Nobody guarding Workman. They're double teaming Cook. Good idea. Workman from 10 feet buries it. Yeah, you can't let him get that deep. Yeah, that's that's a good point too, Marty. He was right in the lane. That's just an easy jump shot. And a foul on Workman trying to go for the steal. That's his fourth. Schwer now will get two. And yeah. We're gonna need more than one out of two. North is only up by two there. You see at 55-53, and there's 149 remaining. Too early to start fouling if you're Ash Wabadon. All you want to do is uh you know, basically uh, work, and maybe you get a turnover, or North will take some kind of shot. But uh, double bonus time for North, as you said. That's big, big time uh, advantage, North. Schwer makes that one. Now North only has four team fouls coming in as uh, Clayton Tomashek, and uh, Workman takes a seat. He has four fouls, like we mentioned. There we go. 57-53, two possession ball game. The whole North bench called for a timeout, but the officials didn't hear it. 
Amashek couldn't get it in. Tap up, no good. Don't foul. Rebound. Up and in. And it's really tough to contend with that kind of height underneath the basket. Timeout, Ashwabanon. It's a full timeout, Scott, so we can take a break. There you see it, north up two with 136 remaining. Back at North High School. Steve Van Vagel. Steve Van Vagel up there in the yellow sweater. Other North High fans. And uh, they're seeing a good one tonight, Chris. There's Gary Doherty up there. He's got an itch. He's um, an Ohio State fan, too. Tom Desitel talking to the troops. North with a two-point lead. And uh, how about a little overplay by Ashwabanon and a back cut for a layup? And a uh, foul. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see. It's a long time to hold the ball with a minute 36. Workman back in the ball game for uh, Tomashek, who uh, went out. Interesting to put him in on defense because he has the four fouls. Yeah, there's a good look. Nolan free. Driving, shooting, not getting fouled. Oh. Missed the shot. He had a man open on the left side of the basket. Ostrowski's got it on the wing. They slow it down. Paprocki inside the line for the tie. He nails it. Boy, he's deadly. Leading score. You got to know where he is. One minute and 10 seconds left. We're tied at 57. Ash Wabanon. Coming back again. They were down four. It was 57 55. Under a minute. Kellner tripped on the way to the hoop. He's going to shoot a pair. And I believe the foul is going to go on Jeremy Paparaki. That's only his first foul, Chris. Kellner going it, to Marty. the line. Whoop, yep. Didn't quite get over in time. Yeah, just the feet getting tangled there. Clutch. TJ puts that one in. He's five for seven tonight. Looking for uh, six for eight. North back on top by one. Kellner now with 14 points. Paprocki with his uh, season average at 19. Cook has 15. Nothing but the bottom of the net. North up two. 50 seconds and counting. Ostrowski working on Conway. Come on, get up and play defense. Not going to try and draw a foul like that. Cook to the lane, no good. Good rebound by Eirich. They're not going to call a foul. Timeout, timeout. Good play by Nolan Free. Boy, he got hammered a couple times. They didn't call the foul, and then he got trapped and made a good decision there, Chris. Wow, very important now to get the ball to your best free throw shooters. You know, and I, I like all of Norris free throw shooters. Here you see the replay, the poking at him. I would love to have Nolan free up. He's just ice. Yeah. I'd love to have him be shooting them. And, uh, you know, the only bad thing I don't like about timeouts, you know, you have to get it in. But Well, uh, and hey, you make an excellent point because they they've struggled. been <laughs> all night. It's the only thing I was going to say negative on that situation. Oh, boy. This is an exciting ball game. I played my Stratomatic football game last night. And I, oh, is I that what it was? I mentioned, you know, that I, I have the Bears from last year, and we're playing last year's season. And last night I played the New England Patriots. In real life, last year the Bears lost 17-13. to 13, But last night we won it 21-20. <laughs> to 20. It's all in the coaching. Devin Hester had a punt return for a touchdown. And the guy I wish they would have kept had two touchdowns rushing, Thomas Jones. He oh traded him away and went with uh, Cedric Benson this year. That, that didn't work out so good. 
And like all the Packer fans say, are the Bears in the playoff this year? <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we are back at North High School. 59-57. 6 eight kid going to go over. Nolan free here. Oh, Nolan's bleeding or something. Chris Lenz. Go to work, Chris. A little scratch on the hand. That's no big deal. Uh, we don't like this. Well, it's on the left hand. So Good ch choice here. Take a timeout. North uh, taking another timeout. 30-second timeout. 30-seconder by the Raiders. Here you see Chris Lenz working on uh, Nolan there. Get that all set, ready to roll. Good timeout there. No sense. Rush, rush, rush. This is a very important inbounds. The only thing I'd struggle in here a little bit. Yep. There's Jacob. Jacob Hoffensberger, and there you see Nolan's dad right there. Yep. Billy Free. Billy, by the way, was on that first uh, North High team that Coach Desatel uh, coached, along with Tom Boji, Fred Forsterling, Scott Glazier, Dave Knopp, Pete Hoffensberger, Neil Ebert. <laughs> We've been waiting two games to get that in. Finally had a chance. Six foot eight. Jacob Cook is in the way of Nolan Free. I think we can get him on a bomb. Nolan, you can basket. back up. That's right. Take as much space as you want. Um, give yourself a nice angle. Uh, what Cook cannot do is he cannot reach over the line. He's got to stay straight up and down, just like he is. I understand the rules, sir. Inbound the ball, I'm going to deflect it. <laughs> <laughs> Scott out and getting out of the way. Time out north, good play. And Nolan not happy with that, but uh, made a good decision. And another 30 second timeout. Maybe Nolan, what you gotta do now, ball fake one way, go the other. Maybe you'll get him to leave his feet. Something to that effect. Um, do something to uh, distract that situation there. Another alternative is, is to let Tom Eirich inbound it because he's just a tad taller, but Nolan's a very intelligent player. That's uh, probably the guy you want to do it, but uh, uh, ball his, fake. His you next know. choice, if he can't get it in, is throw it off the body or right. off the leg of Cook. Exactly. Just make sure it doesn't come right back at you and hit Correct. you out of bounds. Correct. I go with the ball fake one way, throw the other. I throw the, throw the opposite way here. I saw... Uh, Tim Schwer break to the Ashwaubenon on basket and then go down to his own hoop and uh, he was streaking. I didn't see if he was open or not, but that might have been an option. And the same setup, a little different by North now. They're setting up in a bit of a box. You I can't used see it in that shot. When I had a sidelines play too, I had a play where the, the far guy just went right to the guy. You know, when we were desperate, the far guy just went right to the guy, just basically just hand it to him. You know, just get the ball in and let them follow you. 29.5 seconds remaining. There, you get it into Eirich. And a foul on Parker. That'll be his third. Eirich will be to the line shooting a pair. Tom, so far tonight, is one for one. He uh, had a three-point play earlier in the quarter that he finished off with a free throw. Uh, one is good, two is great. Yep, stating the obvious, uh, two free throws gives North a four-point lead in a two-possession situation. Nothing but the bottom of the net. 60 to 57 North. And I'll tell you, they fought hard. Ashwaubenon had the lead, 42-36 in the third quarter. North has battled back. Nothing but the bottom of the net for two of them. Conway missing the steal on Ostrowski. Cook pushing it back. Shot from the top is good. Kellner has it now. Ashwaubenon with a quick timeout. That was deadly. It's 61, 60. North still on top, but there's still 19 seconds left in the ball game. Oh man! I thought it was going to be short. Ostrowski, that's his. I don't think he shot any three pointers tonight. That was his first one, and he put it right in the bottom of the net. I thought it was short. I honestly thought it was short. I was just. I didn't think it was going to get there. Just enough to get over the rim and right through. Didn't even touch the rim. Well. I don't think he can allow Bob Schoenenberger and uh, Tom Kroll and Tom Keyes from right to left. They've been to a lot of games too yeah, over really. the years. 
But uh, what do you do if you're a Schwabenon anticipating North getting it in bounds? You fall right away. Foul. Now you got it. Now you're into the. Now you're back to the one possession situation. So now you're hoping North misses. Um, put the pressure on uh, Ashwabanon. Get those free throws in there. You're still winning, boys. Outstanding, outstanding uh, job by North tonight. Outstanding. They came out, took it right to Ashwabanon. Big lead, nine to two right away. Up 17 to seven. Got back to about even at halftime. Trailed. You deserve this one, White. Workman back in the ball game on defense. Kellner fouled right away by uh, Anthony Ostrowski. That's going to be his third. Kellner will be at the line again, shooting a pair. Only 1.4 seconds ran off on that. And you know, that was almost an excuse me fall. I don't think he wanted to bump into him like that, but couldn't avoid it. And actually it worked out for the betterment of the Jaguars. Kellner rolls it in. Oh baby. 16 points now for TJ. Seven out of nine, looking to go eight out of 10 from the free throw line. Yes. Knocks it in. You got him. One stop, boys. Oh, 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 oh Kellner commits the foul, but it's only the fifth foul. Good, good foul. If I, he would have not called it, it would have been Norris ball because it went off of Anthony Ostrowski. Same situation, you got a foul to give here. You have a foul to give, anything you know, let him dribble up for about seven, eight seconds, then foul. 15.9 seconds remaining. North up 63-60. Don't foul too early. Now wait, Stop. wait. Get him, get in front of him. Now, now, now. Oh, no! Should have fouled a second earlier, TJ. I know what you wanted to do, but that was too late. 11.3, let's see if he does commit the foul. Yeah, he got him up in the air, he did bump him. That was a good call by uh, Scott Otten. No complaints there, it was just a great move by Jacob Cook. 11 seconds left, plenty of time, boys. North up, now pardon me, we're tied up. Seven, five. OT, baby. Shot's going to be too late. Nolan had a player open on the left wing, but he decided to take it to the hoop. He could have dished it out. North would have had an open outside shot. Can he argue with his decision making? He's usually pretty good at that. and uh, Could have just as easily gotten the foul, but uh, we're going to go a four minute overtime. We're all tied up 63-63. Uh, Chris I'm going to go out on the limb, but I think you have to give the advantage now to uh, Ashwabanon. Although, North is in the double bonus. I like that, that opportunity there. Um, man, everything you had to do, you did. And uh, I'll tell you, they've got, they had two guys in the last quarter make three-point shots that never even attempted one in the game. Ostrowski hit that three, and then Cook made the three at the end here. I mean, those guys hadn't even attempted a three all game, and they're naked you know, knocking them in. Wow. North has their starting five out on the floor. Uh, the only variance for uh, Ash Wabanon is uh, Christian Parker, number 40. Where has he been? Well, he's sitting with four falls, or three falls, actually. Yeah, he was a non-factor in that second half, just two points after a great first half. Now Ash Wabanon controlled the opening tip uh, quite easily oh, by Cook. Man. So you would think uh, Ash Wabanon's going to have the first possession. We go four minutes. You're right, boy. North did everything right. <laughs> he still couldn't win the ball game in regulation. Nice tip. Good job by North to get the opening possession. Ostrowski on. Nolan free. 
Oh, he double dribbled. <laughs> that was bad, Nolan. Oh, he got away with one. Inside feed to uh, Eirich. His shot is blocked out. Kellner faking, faking. Has the ball knocked away from behind. Paparaki traveled to the hoop, but following it up and putting it in was Jacob Cook. Cook's had an outstanding second half. He had five in the first half. He's been an impact player here in the second half. Nice back doors. So far in the ball game, and coming from behind is Pep Rocky, but he couldn't save it. 65-63, Ash Wabanon in uh, what has been just a dynamite basketball game. Cook with 20 points now. Kellner lost it on the way up. Parker with a good body, kept uh, Eirich away from the ball and got the rebound. Parker with a six rebound. Three minutes left. A lot of time left, a lot of time left. Cook spinning, had it knocked away, but it went off of uh, Tom Eirich's leg. Good try, Tommy. Good double up. Now the last time when North did that uh, was Nolan Free actually dropped down in the lane to cover Parker. Nobody's dropped down that time to cover Parker. If uh, that ball is getting knocked away, Parker might have had an easy two. Tom Desitel takes it right away from Kellner. No Shoots way. a three again. Jacob Cook with a three pointer. Ash Wabanon up five. Oh my. Step out defense by Parker and he commits the foul. I'll tell you, Ash Wabanon, I'm, I'm impressed with their defense, Chris. They do some uh, basic things that are very, very good. One is stepping out on the ball screen. Yeah. Cook is six for his last seven from the floor, including uh, that three at the end of regulation and it's two baskets here in overtime. Wow. In that fourth quarter, North was 12 out of 13 free throws and uh, just wasn't quite enough. Free needs to make this one to get it down to four points. There's 2.42 remaining in overtime. And oh. can't get him either and Cook with another rebound. Wow. He's been the man out there, especially in the second half. He's got nine rebounds in the half, 11 in the game. Oh no. Oh good. Conway kept it alive and did eventually get the rebound. 2.20 remaining. Ashwabanon playing tough defense. Good cover up by Pep Rocky. Conway from way outside the line and he got it in. They're forcing North out and out but uh, Conway gets it in. He, he missed, has 12. Missed his last three uh, threes and a two, but that was a big three right there. Well, One Pat possession Rocky game. was wide open underneath. They didn't get him the ball. Drive by Tomashek is no good. White. Pep Rocky kept it away from uh, Eirich, but North will get it. And Tomashek says, I don't need any help from the white guys. I'll get up myself. That's an attitude, and it's I like that attitude. I'm not knocking you for that, but uh, it's part of the reason why they're so tough. They don't take anything. Eric lays it up. Good. Hi. He didn't recognize it right away. It's 68 all. How about that? Down five, back to even. And a timeout by Ash Wabanon. A full timeout. There's 130 remaining. Going with a 30, Marty. Going with a 30. I don't understand why. OT. Wow, we. <laughs> I'm glad when we uh, did that opening show, circle the games. Yeah. <laughs> How many people you think remember that? <laughs> Just us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's all that counts. <laughs> Who cares? There's we Alex. Remember. Alex Conway, big three pointer. What a ball game. The two division leaders in the conference. Good shot there by Brian. Now the next foul by North will put the Ash Wabanon on the line for the one and one, which okay. does put pressure on the Jaguars. That's what uh, Coach Phillips says. My gosh, the, you know, we got like 14 team fouls and they got six yet. <laughs> well, you should have a whole bunch more because you got all those yeah. Ones, what, what do I call those? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. 
Sneaky fouls. Sneaky fouls. Pep Rocky. That's tough. I think his foot was on the line. No good. Good. Rebound by Tim Schwer. Workman. He called timeout. Great oh, play. You got to be aware of people around you, Tim. That was great hustle by uh, Workman. I'll tell you, that's just an intelligent play by Vince Workman there. 32nd timeout. Wow. Falling out of bounds. Vince Workman calls that timeout. That is great, great court awareness and looking right at the official. Well, bad gotta, turnover. Like Jim Eisner used to say to us all the time, you got to know where people are on the court. I mean, you just can't dribble out there somewhat lethargically. You know, you got to know where people are. That's uh, Norris' fault. That's a turnover. Good call by Vince Workman. Daddy's got to like that play. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I should dig out who our next game is. <laughs> Lakeland College, Tuesday night. Yeah. Women action, Concordia. How about that? From memory, that would be uh, January 8th. <laughs> Concordia women at uh, Lakeland. You might see Stacy Rush. I think she's still helping out over at uh, Concordia. And then after that... We're uh, over at South High next Friday, a week from tonight, when Notre Dame comes to town. They got a dynamite team. Oh, that Lakeland women, new coaching staff over there. Uh, be a new exposure for us. We haven't uh, seen the new system. And, uh, and they always treat us real nice. Okay? Yes, we they enjoy do. going out there. Uh, Dave Gallianetti, former uh, press employee, works out there. and uh, School board member? Yep. Ostrowski being guarded by Schwerer. Ball tipped, but uh, Cook keeps it. Gets oh. it inside to Parker, and then knocked out of bounds by Eirich. Whew. And that was a good no call, because I'll tell you, they were both shoving each other pretty good underneath there. Yes, they've had, a, they've they've had an they've interesting, uh, relation, <laughs> interesting relationship <laughs> down underneath. Peaks and valleys. <laughs> Cook pushing off to get open. If I was at Swabada, and I'd be uh, ticking some time off here if I and could. It's but. under a minute. Tomaszek outside, gets it into uh, Parker. They're working outside. It's down to 45 seconds and rolling. Tomaszek has it. Another try by... Uh, oh, good! Blast him! Don't let him get the easy shot, Conway. That was a good play. Consistently on that post-up move by uh, Cook, Kellner has always gone for the steal and uh, has never gotten it yet. And uh, that leaves uh, Cook pretty wide open. Yeah, that just a, just a hair a slow, just a hair slow. Yeah, North got a break. Uh, he missed the first attempt and then uh, Conway committed a good foul to not let him get an easy two. And of course, we don't ever want anyone to get hurt. So don't uh, read that into my uh, lexicon. No, no, that's just the right basketball move just because of this. Exactly. Don't give up an easy one. You when know, you got to force him to make a 12-footer. Yep. He missed that uh, one at the end of uh, regulation with about 12 seconds left. And now he's, you know, one out of two trip. But North has the ball, and a basket gives him the lead. Down to 35 seconds and counting. Kellner. Inside the... And good by Eirich! North has the lead. 25 seconds. Workman pushing it hard to the hoop. Had it knocked away and it's off of him. North ball. Good call. Boy, he had Christian Parker he on the, the right. He had the wings full either side. And uh, chose to do a, another, you know, take it himself. Probably not the right decision there. Lost out of bounds. He's wide open. Alex Conway. Pass by Nolan Free. Conway breaks loose for an easy two. 12. 11. 10, 9. Shot. No good. North can't get it. Shot. No good. Cook taking it out. Fires it up. No good. North wins. North wins 72 69. They upset state rank undefeated Ashwabanon.
the unveiling. Oh, you look perfect. <laughs> Today, people seem to care a lot more about how good they look than how well they see. And that's a big mistake, because an eye doctor can see things you can't, like the first signs of glaucoma, diabetes, and high blood pressure. For men and women over 40, it might be wise to look into your eyes. Visit checkyearly.com. A message from the Vision Council of America and AARP. The dream of education beyond high school, the cost can put it out of reach. There is help. We are federal student aid, part of the U.S. Department of Education. Each year we award $80 billion to all eligible students and families. Learn more at federalstudentaid.ed.gov. Don't get left behind. The most costly education is the one not begun. Federal student aid. Start here. Go further. These days, kids are logged on or plugged in almost 24-7. Parents need to start early to help kids make good technology choices. But where do you start? Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey Kyle. What are you doing? We need to talk about your choice of games. Tunedinfamily.com. Helpful tools you can use for the good of your family. Parents, there's something you can do to protect your kids from drugs and alcohol. You can buy ground beef with egg, tomato sauce, breadcrumbs, and spices. Bake in an oven-safe pan at 350 for 50 minutes. Serve hot. This is Jamie Lee Curtis. Children who eat dinner with their families are less likely to smoke, drink, or use drugs. <clears throat> so, have dinner together every day. Delicious. A message from CASA, the National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia University. Wow, that's maybe the most exciting game I've seen boys here in this gym. Uh, how was it playing out there, Alex? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even, it was so fast. I couldn't, I, I was so tired. I can't even. <laughs> maybe in the morning I'll see that. Well, let's talk about a little bit in the beginning. You guys got off to a really good start. I mean, it almost seemed like I swabbed on, you know, just thought they're going to walk into this place. And I said, you know what, this is the Raider gym, and they're not used to this place. But you got off to a nice start, 19 to 2, or excuse me, 9 to 2, 17 to 7. That had to give you guys a lot of confidence. Yeah, we've been doing that pretty much every game, getting an early lead. But it's a matter of holding on to it. And today, wow, we played throughout the whole game. <laughs> got it done. Yeah, the uh, Tommy Irick got in some foul trouble. People stepped up. You crawled into halftime even and things like that. Anything exciting, Coach, say at halftime or? Same old, same old. <laughs> Not too much. Pretty much just uh, how much we want this game. Get it done. Got to keep our composure no matter what happens. I liked what you guys did uh, driving to the basket. We'll talk to Nolan about that in a little bit. But uh, creating opportunities and three-point shots there. You guys hit a bunch of them in the third quarter. And uh, you hit a big one there in overtime. But that three-point weapon has just always been a tool here at North High that teams, uh, you know, always know it's coming, but you guys still can bang them in. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, I could actually make some today. <laughs> Nolan gave me a lot of good passes. Thank you, Nolan. <laughs> well, I thought the passing was outstanding. Uh, Tommy Iger got some down there. The assists were unbelievable, too, and that, that kind of stuff created open opportunities. Well, all week we've been working on passing. We knew they are going to be good. Rebounding, tough defense. I don't know. We did it. That's we did right. it good. That's right. Congratulations to you, and we'll see you next week. Nolan, uh, wow. Just wow. Yeah, it was fast, and I don't know, we got through it somehow. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, I thought you guys had it there in the fourth quarter. You had them down. I, you know, I, you know, one jump shot away, I said when, I even when Alex shot one, I said, oh, about two minutes left. There goes the dagger, but it just rimmed out. But uh, I'll tell you what, that's a tough team you guys played tonight. Big and strong and physical. Yeah, they're in the top ten in state, and they got Pep Rocky and Coke had big games, and we just knew that if we got through it, we had to play together as a team. Now, you play some with some of these guys during AAU. Uh, I, I know you're planning on next summer. I have a couple words for that. Yeah. You remember when? Yeah. 
Chris Parker. <laughs> He'll be coming over this summer, and I'll be telling him about it. Uh, was it real physical, like I said, out there? It, it seemed like, my gosh, every one of their guys were just built real strong, and my gosh, late in the end there, they're crawling in there. But, you know, it seemed like you got a lot of taps and rebounds and extra opportunities. You were not necessarily the first rebound, but the second guy could get it. Yeah, they're big physical football players, and we know they were going to be tough. We've been working on rebounding all week. We've had drills put in just for them, and we got through it by getting rebounds. I mentioned before, I really, you know, I like the three-point basket, but I really like when you guys drive, penetrate, and try to draw fouls. And it worked again in that second half because you guys got in a double bonus early. Yeah, we had to drive, and uh, once we got to the line, they couldn't guard you as tough, so then they had to stick off, and I kicked it to Alex a couple times for some threes and TJ. Yeah, just an outstanding ball game. Congratulations, gentlemen. Uh, like I said, best game I've seen in this gym, and uh, next week's another uh, game. Good luck to you guys, and with that, we'll send it back to Marty. Good job on the interviews, Chris. Eric's going to get this in. It used to say 500. Now it says 502. When was the last time North defeated two undefeated state-ranked teams in a row? And, uh, man, it was a great game. Easily our most exciting game of the year. Hopefully we'll have a few more of those. Leading scorers for tonight's ball game. Jacob Cook of Ashwaubenon was just a man. He had 24 points, had numerous block shots, a lot of rebounds, played really good defense. He is a Division I prospect. Following him up was Jeremy Paprocki. He had 19 points and actually in some respects was a quiet 19. He didn't score at all in the fourth quarter. Uh, pardon me, did not score at all in the overtime and uh, that was huge. Christian Parker was a great player off the bench. Number 40, he had 12 points. Chipping in with five each was Clayton Tomaszek and Anthony Ostrowski, and then chipping in was with four was uh, Vince Workman. Workman played a great floor game and uh, really played good defense. Made a good play in the overtime when he saved the ball out of bounds, called a timeout before touching the out of bounds line, and Ashwaubenon was able to keep the possession. North, Oliver was able to work through that and win the ball game. For the Raiders, they were led by uh, T.J. Kellner with 17 points. Chipping in with 15 was uh, Tom Eirich. Played a great game inside. Uh, was really a workman in there with the rebounding and the defense and uh, scored some points. Alex Conway had 14. Nolan Free had 12. Chipping in with 9 was Tim Schwer. Was quiet through the first three quarters of the ball game and then came alive in the fourth quarter. Tommy Olson off the bench had 5 points. Hit a huge 3 in the second quarter. And that's the scoring for uh, Sheboygan North. Played an excellent ball game. It was back and forth affair. North had a great start. They were up by 16-7 uh, to 7 early on. 9-2 to 2 even earlier than that. Ashwaubenon worked their way back, but uh, North was over, over to able to come, actually. A five-point deficit in overtime to uh, win, 72-69. to 69. Our next ball game, we mentioned it right at the end of the ball game tonight, is uh, Tuesday, January 8th, when uh, Concordia invades uh, Lakeland College from the women's side. For the crew, Eric Wiesman behind this camera, Brian Andrews running the floor camera, Scott Miloff in the truck, my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time and we'll see you down the road.